Hi everybody, my name is Garth Harwood. I'm the Director of Education here at Hidden Villas Environmental Education Program. Today, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about how almost anything you see on the outside of an animal that's really obvious is probably extra important to that animal. Today, we're gonna look at specifically deer. When you look at a deer, what are some things that really jump out at you? Probably, among other things, the long legs of a deer. Those are really useful for running fast, and I'm sure you can think of some reasons why that would be a good idea. Another thing, though, might be those great big ears. Why do deer have such big ears? Well, this is where you get to learn how to have your very own superpower by growing deer ears of your own. All you have to do to get your own deer ears is bring your hands up next to your head and push your own ears forward a little bit like this. By doing that, you're actually capturing more sound waves out of the air. I can even hear myself better when I do this than when I take my deer ears off. Now, when you make your own deer ears, make sure you don't cover up your ears like this. That's what I sometimes see people do. It doesn't work unless you make a big cup to catch those sound waves right out of the air. So, what do you think deer ears do to help a deer survive? You may have thought of this yourself, but what those big ears do is they keep it safe from predators. Deer are herbivores. They eat a lot of grass, leaves, things like that. They don't eat meat, but they are made of meat and other things might like to eat them. So they are always listening for danger as they bow their heads down to the ground to find something to eat. Those deer ears are very effective. How effective are they, do you wonder? Well, let's do a little experiment and find out. My friends Colleen and John are gonna have a conversation now. And to do our little experiment, what I'm gonna do is walk away backwards and listen to their conversation and see how far away I can get before I can't hear what they're saying anymore. Then I'm going to put my deer ears on and I'll see if I can hear a little bit farther away. Want to find out? Let's get started. So here I am walking away while they have a conversation. All right. All right. So we we got to make sure we're looking at Garth. Get over there backing up. Oh my God. Well, we're talking so that we can see if Garth. How I can still how hear them. I'm not sure, but I, he's backing up. Pretty he's going pretty far. I know. Okay. It's oh, getting really hard to hear it. them I now. Know. So I'm going to stop right here. This is as far away as I can get when they're talking and still hear them without deer ears. But their conversation is still going on and now I'm going to try to find out how far away I can hear with my deer ears on. Here they come. And I'm listening again. You can probably tell I can still hear them. They steered me away from the tree. How's that for amazing super hearing, my friends? That is the power of deer ears, and you can use it anytime from now on. That was a very interesting experiment, huh? Well, deer, when they use their big ears, they have to listen for some pretty scary things out there. You might be thinking of things like mountain lions, coyotes, and sometimes even people. I have one last question for you before I say goodbye. What would you use your deer super hearing to listen for? Thanks for listening, folks.